I was about to say hello, but uh, sorry, what? You want to you want to explain that one? Hello, 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 hello. The band from Africa. Then why would you go and ask it here? Because it's funny. I don't know if I would consider that funny, but okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, what's moving on? Just looking for maintenance? Uh, we'd have to wait most of the stream for maintenance, unfortunately. I thought I was good to go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh,. <laughs> So I'm thinking we might do something else today. And the next time we swap in Limbus. The question would then just be... What? I can't install anything, that's gonna crash the stream and also probably take a long time. I prefer to do something that I just, I have ready to go. We could either flip around something in the rotation, so I can pull up something that we already have, that we're currently playing. Um, or... We can go into a few different fallback games that we have. So basically, I guess to list off the options, we want to see the bad endings of Library of Ruino. I guess we can do that. Do we want to do that? So I've installed, it would just take a couple minutes to pull it up. Also the key pages from the reverb. Oh right, that's true. Okay. Yeah, we, yeah, we can do that. Let me go ahead and start loading stuff up then. Oh, I didn't even make a go live announcement. <laughs> oh gosh, I am scatterbrained. It's not spelled right at all. I can type, I swear.
This isn't scuffed, I swear. And typo. Notice it right after I click submit. Okay, whatever. It's fine. <laughs> Obligatory tag that I always have to put in. And then booting up Ruina. I am a prepared streamer. I know exactly what I'm doing. One hundred percent. For future reference, I am listening. Some minutes will always be at this time. That's rough. It's been more or less consistent. Okay. When you say this time, do you mean like Every single week at this time, or just whenever maintenance occurs, it occurs at this time of day. Every week. Okay. That's awkward then. That's fine. It is what it is. Okay. Should be good. Do, 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 do. Or maybe. There we go. I... I'm going to be a little bit tall. Shrink me down just a tad bit. Unless some other like emergency maintenance shows up. Okay. Options, let's continue. Assuming we do continue. So let's see. I've already got 255 tiers of the battle pass. It's crazy. Uh, books. This is what we want. It's just all this, right? So I guess we just read through all these, right? And then we'll explore the bad ends. for now yep okay we also do mods uh yeah those could probably be installed fairly quickly we'll see we'll see how much time reading this and then doing the bad ends take up i don't know exactly how much time they'll take up but um yeah we could we can maybe go and do that it's awesome the world is one massive aggregation of delusions. A world where individuals can shape their own reality as they see fit. Every person is susceptible to, suscept to deception, for they have knowledge. For that reason, it is impossible to... It is impossible for a pure being un... A, a pure being untainted by knowledge to see the world as we mistakenly observe it. In the same way, they cannot discern the end point of a line or tell between blue and red. A world devoid of wants. It would be unfit to call that place a world. In fact, to even call it a place would yet be another misconception amongst us knowing ones. The more one learns, the more delusions they invite. However, if most people observed the same place and felt the same sentiments, then it might not be your own delusion after all, wouldn't you say so? For instance, take a look at the blue sky. It's 
Celestia Dome is higher and farther than one can fathom, and as blue as, as it can be. Those who agree that the sky is tall and blue. Alas, those who think it is as much... Those who are think it is as such are ultimately within your view. It is only natural that they disagree with you as they are, as they agree with you as they are figments born out of your delusional mind. Indeed, the sly entity that prevents you from seeing the world in its sincerest form would be none other than yourself. Given the holy entity in which you believe and to in which you believe and to which you devote yourself is going to be a projection of your own self. So how can I trust anything that my eyes show me? So in other words, your contracts are ripoffs as well. Noted. <laughs> Blood fiends. The beings said to have been punished with a never-ending thirst for the sin of lusting after human blood. That's what your kind call us. Condemning us out of fear. I was afraid as well when I was faced for the first time in that mansion where everything began. Violent beings who drank the blood of fellow humans. A growing feeling of unease about the possibility of being their next target. People in the mansion were terrified of those who us who became monsters. Even though they were humans like us, they were outside of what we thought as the norm. Insight, though, is such a silly thing to do. What is the illusion of normalcy that we feared for and fought for so strongly? Let's say every human on the planet, except for one, turns into blood fiends. And that single person remaining is left normal, as they say. In that case, what would normalcy be there? How must a lone human feel being the monster among creatures they dreaded? Should they fight to the last breath for the humanity they kept so long? Perhaps that's become an obsolete ide ideology, one that's no longer worth keeping. What if rejecting that old idea and becoming a blood fiend opened up our potential for growth in numerous aspects? Your kind likes to claim that something is out of the ordinary when it's only different from what you've seen and experienced before. When you fear it, so you fear it, and try to exclude it from your head. Fiend. There's no real justification for your kind to condemn us. That much is actually fair, that's reasonable. You're still killing people, that's unreasonable. But just about every other part of that is reasonable. If I've been busy with an urgent appointment as any other tragic tale should go, your death wouldn't have felt so miserable. Yeah. I would have cried my tears, and feel my tears had run their course, and I would have been ready to send you off. It was an ordinary day. A sort of day where there were no meetings or gatherings to attend after I came home from work. Your body was crushed beyond recognition. I couldn't have noticed on my own that it wasn't a random chunk of flesh. They put your remains in a stasis box and sent it to me. It was their gesture of condolence. I had refused to believe it was you. It weren't for the clothes. I spent hours sitting there in numb silence, vacantly staring at a lump I couldn't even dare to hug. The stuffed doll you were carrying, now next to the box, caught my eye. Even though it was shredded and soaked in blood, the cotton filling was so clustered together as if it remembered the volume of the doll. It seems some cotton remained even after the roller crumpled the outer fabric. Then, for reasons unknown, I brought the other dolls out of your room and cut them up with a pair of scissors. I don't know what possessed me to cut them into pieces of fabric. It wasn't even enough to fully cover the doll. So I scrapped together the pieces of clothing to sew it back up. The same gentle hands that made your doll the first time. The outcome was creepier than what it used to be. But it was the same doll I remembered nonetheless. The appearance didn't matter. Maybe. Just maybe. The same could be said for you. I gazed at the box for you, my son, rested for what could, would no longer be an eternity. My two hands were once so busy that it was a bother. They had paused for the time, but now they are about to move again. It's for you. 
It's sad, but it was leading to human experimentation, so... <laughs> Sorry, not too much sympathy from me. The survival is a natural thing. Even now, we're all in battle. There are more people born than folks dying of natural causes in the living struggle in their own positions every day. Fight to protect and to avoid falling behind. Maybe it's all because there ain't enough seats for the ever-growing population of humans to take. Sure. Extra jobs and stuff can be made in the future. It's nothing more than a hopeful estimate that might not happen until it's too late for you. The world we live in right now is what matters. There's gotta be a way to weed out the unfit without straining all of us. That's when strength plays its part. I don't get why you vilify this. Aren't we all doing the same thing, directly or not? We elbow our way past others so we can survive. The losers are knocked out of the race. I'd say this is fair, but say no to physical conflicts. To respect life or whatever. But let me ask. What's the reason to respect life? Do you think you're respecting life right now? Oh boy, that's opening up a can of worms. This is going to be in insane. It's it's just going to be crazy. I have no doubts about this. People have hopes and dreams. I want to eat three blossoms of flowers. I want to be swift and nifty, thrifty kitty. I want to earn a fortune. And then they add, "Give me all finds delicious flowers someday." Maybe I'll get fat stacks of cash in my paws someday. Maybe I'll be showered in the loudest applause someday. Someday, someday, someday. That least someday won't just stop popping up. But to have a hope. You have to prepare incense to offer with those wishful prayers upon. But what other one can't eat flowers? A reminder that you're a sluggish turtle right now. The, the beggarly reality. The, the stage of the performance we call hope. Thus and therefore, people have the wrong ideal about how to have hopes. If they believe that the hopes would come true someday, they're just parroting that contemptible word. The day will never actually come. Having expectations this way will only leave you with bitter anger. i will change someday. That person will turn over a new leaf someday if I count on them and wait. They <laughs> will entertain the hopes as they please. And they bite at each other when they don't when the change they expected doesn't happen. Clowns can't give out smiles in a world for a mean, teary friends. So we, all have to, we should all do the stretches, starting today. Abandon all expectation. Just keep a merry, positive attitude and laugh no matter what you see. Let's make a performance about what's already come true. None of a supposed reality for you to hope for someday. I'm already on the stage, sending out the brightest spotlight ever. What? I have no idea what you are talking about. I, I have no idea what you're talking about. See, I can't even give these guys voices because we never heard them. Jester? That's... His name is... Oswald. Hey. We've never heard these guys actually talk. We've just heard them kind of screech. And that's about it. <laughs> so I'll just read it in a normal voice. Let's go on an adventure. A world that changes with every step. To me, that changes after every step I take. My eyes dazzled by a colorful light. I pursue pleasures that I don't have. Hands are free. Indeed he is. Don't scold us because you can't understand our pursuit. You just happen to be one of the many who feel joy from common things. We, on the other hand, don't see any colors in those. You're the ones drenched in nasty pleasures. We're simply looking for what we lack. But complete satisfaction will never come. It only sink deeper in the raging thirst. We'll spend our days in yet grander debauchery. We're happy, though. 
We can wet ourselves in new colors every day, unlike the rest of you. Yes, everyone in the Reverberation Ensemble is an absolute freak. 100% agree. Hold them and they're dead. <laughs> the same way that Walter died. <laughs> So now where humans are dominated by the act of consumption. When you're hungry and you get annoyed, and when starvation touches your raw nerve, you turn violent. That's how humans are. And people who eat the same food will naturally grow similar. So the high and mighty beings that want to rule over you demand you eat the correct stuff. When something's correct, it's gotta be something that's incorrect. Incorrect food. It's gotta mean humans eating humans, don't you think? Oh, the morning sounds funny. Why do people think eating is natural, and draw the line at eating their fellow man? Who decided it's so, and why? Because human life is precious? That's a flawed statement. What makes the lives of animals less precious? We're not about to go down a boring philosophical riddle about the way of life now. If humans clearly have more value over animals because we're the apex predators, then there shouldn't be any problem with the pack of humans that rise above the rest and prey on others. We've got two options. First, don't eat anything. Okay, I'm not suggesting that we all starve to death. Your body is taught to eat. So what if you change that habit? Maybe instead of food, your empty innards can be filled with the possibilities of some other kind. If you're just a fan of that, then there's a second option. Eat anything! Just great the smell of blood. It's not whatever you find in your mouth as your brain tells you to. Oops. A long and very crazy exclamation for I like eating people. There's something that can that can be achieved against your own will, with your own will. A flow that we cannot go against. Uh, gosh, I am pausing in random places. A flow that we cannot go against dictate, dictates us. What we call gears are simply there to show, show the flow. You can't see it with your eyes. Nobody knows who created this massive current or why we must follow it. This flow never leads us to bad places, however. Rather, thinking that such a place exists is an act of uh, defiance in itself. We merely watch events and hold us bystanders. You walk along a path, but was it you who laid the path there? You didn't teach yourself to lift your legs and propel you forward, they simply moved. Furthermore, the decision to walk wasn't our own either. Still too many believe that they moved their legs out of their own volition. It's a shame to see them struggle to escape the flow. They're only straying away from their salvation. Welcome to the cult. And you. Of course your page is going to be friggin'. I do not like this man. I do not like this child. That's a better phrase. I do not like this child. This is a child. I know it's the absolute out of me. <laughs> How much longer must I walk until I reach an end? At least he died, yeah, finally. <laughs> it took him long enough. I thought he died once. Then he came back. And then he came back. And then he came back. And then he came back again. And then we finally thought he was done. For real this time. And then he came back one more time as a distorted bridge. Like, come on, man. How much longer must I walk until I reach an end? How badly must I shut my eyes, cover my ears, and zip my mouth to keep what's around me safe before I can feel a semblance of happiness that won't leave me? I thought I had to overcome this pain and rise above it to become a tougher man. That way, I wouldn't lose those that are close to me. However, a human is fragile by nature. If it's too weak, they would crumble. If one is too hardy, they would snap. I realize that there's little I can do to calm the disorder of this world. How can I live on without failing to spare them? Mind that is willing to let go of things that were destined to leave at some point. 
the mind that is content to have nothing. I feel that it's important to refrain from thinking that anything is in my position. I followed your troop in order to find a way to be happy, but what good did it do for me? Staying with you only exacerbated my suffering, being the whole purpose of joining you in the first place. I do want to add that you were not at fault here, though. I was the one who tormented myself. Had I known what I know now back in the past, would I have lessened the pain or changed anything? No. I don't blame myself for the choice in that moment. Even the failures and misery of the past were all part of the voyage leading up to this moment. So I'm thankful that I managed to achieve something for once. I might have drowned in my own tears and sorrow back then, but ultimately, but for the choice I made, and all the things in the world. Hmm. Walking that fine line between distorting and manifesting ego. Because that was an awful lot of acceptance at the end there. But he's still distorted because... I guess he didn't accept it enough. No! The crazy person. As Roland and Angela now know him, I. The crazy blue guy. When I heard the news and rushed to the scene, a hideous submission who had... So the musician had concluded his performance and permanently shut the piano's lid with his torso awaiting me. But the time, emotions I couldn't understand welled up inside of me. It's hard to define what they were even now. I felt as if deep, tenebrous stains were seeping out of my heart. Unless I didn't shed tears before the piano where your body rested, I soon realized you were no longer there. That's right. There's a gentle breeze that brushes past my face, and the clouds that fly in the sky. Give me heed of your presence from overhead or underfoot. I thought you had left me, but you would always come back. So I no longer care about skin and flesh you wore only momentarily. Angelica. I'll follow after the name you gave me, Roberta. You used to call me that down in those horrible underground chambers. Create a new world. One where people can live three bountiful lives even if they have nothing. Free from oppression or greed. When we lose the fixation on our bodies, we won't be afraid of death anymore. No rest will be eternal. Crazy. Okay then. So we've now read every single one of the lore books. So not you. Oh, but it's not you either. Endings follow these steps, okay? I know it's choose the uh Oh, we can just okay. Come on. You're just a Vitatus, that's what we want. Black Silence Post Battle. I don't want to do this. If I'm being completely honest, whatever games have a bad end, I want to see them, but I also but then I reach the point where it's like, okay, you gotta commit to it. I'm like, Ugh, I don't want to. It's it's gonna be bad. Okay, we got the good ending, that's the true ending, that's the one that we got, that's the one that we're sticking with, that's that's the one that we got. This ending isn't real, it's simply a what if statement. We reject Roland. Yeah, it remains the same because we've already done it. Yeah. Limbus will have one of these sections. I wonder how they'd implement it. It would be interesting. Um, Something like that 
does kind of exist in a mobile game already. Uh, Octopath Traveler, Champions of the Continent. Right at the start of the game, you choose which path you want to go on. Um, I believe it's Wealth, Power, and Fame. Um, so options like that do exist, but I think you have to create a whole nother account if you want to go down a different path. In the end, all the paths are pretty darn similar, at least from what I understand, so it's not like it's too big of a deal um, between, you know, choosing one path over the other. But this one does very much affect the ending, so it would be interesting if, if they added in multiple, like, branching paths sort of stuff. Um, because depending on how significant it is, they would definitely have to change how they would do it. Some people, like me, are not satisfied until they get the good ending. And some people want to see all the endings as well, like what we're doing now. Lobotomy, you had meltdowns in Library of Ruin, you have realizations. Will it be something like that for Limbus? That's that's a good question. The surprise. Mm, no, I'm not really surprised about that. It's they've implemented it in a different way, so that doesn't really count. I don't know. I don't know. It's something I think we may just have to see. It's the end of the line, Roland. I suppose this is another sorrow I must overcome. See, what's interesting is you're pale again. Even though at this point... You shouldn't be pale. Is it because we did the true ending that all the models are now pale again? The end of the line, Roland. I suppose it's another star I must overcome. Is always saw his pale? Oh, his voice line doesn't play. Oh, interesting. Um, I know at some points, like partway through the story, I actually, I think I pointed this out when we did reach the ending. Um, and it was very clear at that point. Just before she steps into the light and just after she comes out, there is a very clear difference that you can see because you see that contrast right then and there. But she does at some point slowly become more of like an actual fleshy color rather than like a metallic gray sort of color. Well, pale. Yeah, pale. Yes, pale. <laughs> Thanks, Brain, for piecing words together. Yeah. We all just have to look at our own agonies and nothing else. It's okay, Angela. Congrats, John. <sighs> Not the ending she wants. Thank you so much. Move onwards to the next stage of my life. See your cry as a run of sight. Nanin Modun Kutung Magumko, Igo Kajuata. Holding such misery, I made it to this point at last. No Muru Hilly Signan Momoro, Toshi Urume, Hamke Usach Keta. With eyes, I can shed tears. I shall laugh as I watch the city cry. That book taught me many things. The way to give abnormalities physical form. To set them free. The way to liberate the separate by bestowing, bestowing holy human bodies upon them. Lobotomy 직원들의 의식과 몸을 복구하는 방법. The way to restore the consciousness and flesh of all the employees of Lobotomy Corporation. The way to attain the strength I need to live on in the city. Now I'm going to go back to the city. 
It's time you accepted your fate and returned the books. 도서관 안에서 나에게 맞서는 짓이 의미 없다는 걸 누구보다 너희가 잘 알잖아. You know better than anyone else that it's pointless to oppose me in the library, don't you? My good, my dear, yes, dear. Who did you get? Who's? I saw. You saw it. I'm all dead. 역시, Angela, 네 마지막 선택은 이거군. So this is your final choice, huh? 참으로 뻔뻔해, Angela. A shameless person you are, Angela. 진작에 이래야 했던 걸지도 몰라. Maybe this is what I should have done sooner. 괜히 너희와 거리를 했어. It was silly of me to make a deal with you. 그날 제안 따위 없이 홀로 살았다면 이런 아픔을 겪지 않을 수 있었는데. I would have to feel this heartache had I not made that offer that day and lived by myself. 제멋대로 되살리고 다시 죽음을 부여하다니 참으로 어리석군. You take the liberty of giving us life only to bring death again. You're truly unwise. 더불어 그 일에 대해 후회까지 하고. Furthermore, you are regretting your own decisions. 내 일을 막으려 했으니 당연한 거야. You tried to interrupt me, so I did what I had to do. 너희가 얻은 몸과 자유로 직접 선택한 결과니까. After all, you chose to stand against me with the flesh and freedom you've gained. 내가 너희를 죽이기 전에 두 발로 걸어 나가 어디론가 사라졌다면 됐을 텐데. You could have walked away and disappeared from my sight, and I wouldn't have harmed you. 너도 마찬가지 아니겠니? It is amusing that you should mention that. 그토록 원한 인간의 몸과 자유를 얻었음에도 도서관에서 한 발자국 나가려 하지 않다니. You have earned a human body and the freedom for which you sought so earnestly. Yet you will not take a single step onto the soil outside the library. 사람의 마음이란 그런 게 아니겠어? That's how fickle the human mind can be. Wouldn't you agree? 네 말이 맞단다. Indeed, you are right. 함께. 마지막 춤을 추도록 가자꾸나. Let's dance our last dance together. 이번에야말로 영원히 잠들어져. I want this to be your final and permanent slumber. 아인, 당신의 꿈은 맹렬히 땅으로 곤두박질 칠 거야. 내 모든 걸 걸었으니까. I mean, your dream will plummet to the ground. I bet everything on it. 모든 걸 건다는 건. 곧 모든 걸 바쳐야 한다는 것. To take everything means to devote all that I have. 왜 그토록 인간의 몸을 원했을까? Why did I yearn for a human body so strongly? 복수에 있어 오히려 짐일 뿐인데. It's only a burden for my vengeance. 난 둥지를 틀어 도시의 몰락을 바라볼 뿐인 사서. I am a librarian. One who watches the fall of the city from the ivory nests I erected. 도시의 모든 지식과 생명을 집어 삼키는 도서관이 되어라. It will grow into a library that devours all the knowledge and life of the city. 도서관은 도시 남부 지역을 침식했다. The library encroached on the southern quarter of the city. 도서관의 범람은 누구도 감히 막을 수 없었다. No one could stop its violent growth. 끊임없이 사람들을 죽이며. 쉴새 없이 지식의 살을 찌웠다. It ceases to kill people, and reaching the spire of knowledge without falter. 그 어느 별보다 도시를 밝게 비춘다. It shines over the city, brighter than any other star. 13년간 도서관은 도시를 감쌌다. For 13 years, the library charted the city. 이런 위험한 괴물을 모아두고 크게 한건 해주셨네요, 사선님. Hmm. That was one grand job you did with all these dangerous monsters you've gathered, Miss Li Librarian of Death. Suguesa. Good work. Kemurun Kemuldapke. Monster to behave as one. Sonan Amogot the Murugo, Tangshin and Mikutaran in the Mario. I trusted and followed you, knowing nothing. Ni Tung Yunan. Chick Sanyan Kundurin. 얼마나 죽었니? How many colleagues of yours, the so-called book hunters, have you killed? 셀수 없이요. I've lost count. 앞으로도 
셀수 없는 많은 사람이 죽을 거란다. All the smart people will die in the future. 난 사람을 알아. 도시가 감춘 사람의 진실을 알아버렸거든. I know humans. I learned the secrets of mankind that the city had been hiding from them. 그렇겠죠. 그리고 전 당신을 알아요. I'm sure you do. And I know you. 수고하셨어요. 부디 영원히 죽어주세요. Thank you for all your hard work. Please die once and for all. 잠들게 해줘서 고맙구나. 이름 없던 아이야. Thank you for putting me to rest, a child who had no name. 아무리 밝게 빛나는 별이라 해도 사그라든다. Even the brightest star fades someday. 다른 별과 같이 언젠가 사람에 의해 질 뿐이다. It will eventually be felled by man, just like any other star. 오늘 밤에도 별이 바람에 스치듯이. It's tonight again. Stars are brushed by the wind. You've been unlocked. Forward. Spin-off game with just that ending. Mm. Seems interesting. Oh, I'm clicking on the wrong window. We do want that one. Lola, Uh, yet again, I don't want to do this. I don't want to read. You can't just put it into it, Angela. There's not something you can decide on your own like this. Angela. 내 계획과 다르게 고통 없이 목숨을 거둔 건 Angela, the reason I give you a painless death as opposed to my initial plan 친구로서 마지막 배려야 Well, let's call it a last bit of consideration for you That's my friend, right? 모두 끝났어, 안젤리카 It's all over Angelica 엔젤라의 목이 바닥에 떨어짐과 동시에 도서관도 무너졌다. Angela's head toppled to the floor. The library crumbled with her. 도시의 한 가운데 한 사람이 있다. A solitary man stands in the middle of the city. 그리고 그 앞에는 붉게 물든 기계만이 있을 뿐이다. Next to him was a machine, stoked in red. 도서관은 그렇게. 신기루와 같이 사라졌다. The library vanished as if it were an illusion all along. 그 사람도 다시 도시 속으로 자취를 감췄다. And the man disappeared into the city once again. 그 소식 들었어? 대장이 다시 복귀한다고. Ah, did you hear the news? Our big man's returned. 롤랑 그렇게 개판을 치다가 인제 와서 말이지. Roland? Really? After all those years of creating mayhem? 난 당연히 소리 소문 없이 어디 묻힌 줄 알았어. I thought he quietly wound up six feet under or something. 곧 대질 거다. 버린 짓이 너무 많아. He'll be dead sooner or later. He's done too many things for him to handle the consequences. 그래서 어떻게 지내고 있대? So, how's he doing these days? 예전 일도 있으니 얼굴이라도 비춰볼까? Maybe I'll go pay him a visit for old time's sake. 매일 술 가야겠죠로 산다더군. 뭐에 홀린 년. 
He spends each day drowned in drugs and alcohol, taking filthy jobs like he's possessed or something. The fool's changed too much. He's not worth seeing. I bet he'll disappear again soon enough. You people can go on without changing. I mean, just look at us. A man drifts down the gutter. Numerous weapons dig into the man's back. A club that belonged to a stranger. A limb that belonged to a nemesis. A dagger that belonged to a colleague. A lance that belonged to a friend. These countless instruments of harm are the karma he bore. 나는 알고 있나니 내가 죽음의 자리에 드는 날에도 I know that on the day of my final agony 넌내 마음속으로 깊이 들어와 You'll be lying there You'll be there Lying in my sheets Oh sorrow 나와 함께 가지런히 누우리라 But you might once again attempt to enter my heart 말했잖아 롤라 너무 많이 죽였어. I'm not telling you, Roland. You've killed too many. 이 정도로 죽여버리면 뭐가 뭔지 알수 없게 된다고. I warned you that if you relish murdering so much, you'll lose yourself. 그 사람은 그렇게 조용히 잊혔다. Just like that, a man sank into oblivion. In black silence. Oh. I don't like it. I don't like either one of those. Here, poor Emir. La Delure. I don't know any of those words. What achievements do we have left again? We've gotten most of them. Never mind, not most of them. Oh, well, I mean, technically, most of them. Still have 18 more achievements to get. Okay, what now? Now we've technically done everything. Mods, we can do mods. Lots of mods covering so many things. I actually saw something the other day involving Arknights mods. Well, I guess I won't exactly be able to achievement hunt if I do mods, huh? Links on links are off. Try not to get bonked.
the whisper? Maybe we can do that. It's a mod that turns on achievements when playing modded. That feels like cheating, though. Download base mod because it allows mods to run more smoothly. Sent the art next one. Thank you. Base mod, base mod, base mod. I guess probably have to search up base mod, huh? Base mod for workshop. Is that one it? That's the one? Okay. to close the game, huh? Yeah. up again Go. Should we back up? Oh. Okay, so how do I know? In the console mods, you can skip the fights if you want. And getting consoles, you can do slash win. The ensemble gives all the reward, rewards the rework gives you. Ah, okay. So let's see. Now, if I go into. I believe it said Star of the City, there was something? Um, how do I find that? 
Those that might be in the mod list. <laughs> We're gonna think it's there. Oh, I must have just missed it. Invitation, star of the city. Am I dumb? It's a star of the city and Impuritus, right? Um, what books does it take? You can try doing that. I think I have at least one of every book. Did you open with mods? No, I didn't realize that was a thing. Uh, how do I open with mods? on Steam, it'll give you an option to play with my- oh, okay. Oh, so is that how you can still go back to, like, just standard normal gameplay if you have mods? It's just by telling it to launch without them? So, so that is really nice. That is... That is actually genius. It's, okay, that actually- that's, that's really nice. The only other comp- I open up Steam, go into my library, and uh, I'm just going to show you the first thing that I see. This, this, is, this is the first thing that I see. I go and I open up Steam, hop into my library, and I... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, what? what is this? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> That's just right there, right up front and center, right in the center of my screen, right as I open up Steam. What in the world? <laughs> Among Us, what are you doing? <laughs> okay. It didn't give me the option. Oh, here it is. Okay. It said launching and then it stopped launching. Okay, interesting. So I have to go in through here to, in order to play with mods if I launch it through. Okay. Okay, that's cool, though. It's good that I don't have... Like, it, let's say I screw something up with these mods and I just horribly butcher everything. I can just tell it load it up without mods and then it'll work without mods, which is nice. It's like the thing with Minecraft where you have, like, seven different instances each for different mod packs. Which is a really, really nice way to just keep data separated and make it so if you're trying to go and do something for normal achievements and stuff like that. You know, you don't have to worry about mods interfering with that. 
sample mod. I don't know what sample mod does. Project moon sample. Okay. Um. Oh gosh. Hopefully I didn't just leak something. Something I don't need to put in sample mod. Something that's just basically a debugging thing. Uh oh. We are frozen. <laughs> um. Hmm. It's gonna take a while to load. Okay. Open the nope, copyright. <laughs> okay, so I'm assuming I click continue. Now I go into invitation. Ah, okay, so that off to the side. I think I have to beat that one first in order to do the ones in the Imperial to see status. Workshop. Interesting. Okay. How does that change things? I, I don't see how that's changing things. Okay, whatever. Four of them. Oh boy. We have infinite of those. That's nice. <laughs> This is going to be interesting. <laughs> ah, I see. Okay. Well, that honestly seems really well done right off the bat. Latest Jack Two body armor. Start of the scene, if not immobilized, gain one pr two protection, one haste, and draw one page. Come staggered or immobilized, remove keeping, remove all keeping momentum and keeping mo momentum. What? Becoming staggered or immobilized, remove all keeping momentum and keeping momentum. Is that just is that twice? Oh, you don't know who these people are? Yeah, I know who this person is. Don't know how to pronounce his name. But I know who he is. It's interesting that they made him weak to slash. I would have figured they made him they'd make him uh, weak to pierce. Cause uh, he lost via a lance. Gun lance. It was more of a cannon shot. Some mods are machine translated since most of the modders are Korean. Ah, fair enough. Okay, so it might just be a machine translation thing. Being too fragile. Move and shoot, gain one keeping momentum upon rolling offensive dice. Rolling defensive dice will use one stack to boost its power by one. In sudden break upon rolling defensive dice and rolling offensive dice will use one stack to boost its power by one. Uh. Start of each act, increase all characters' emotion level to match the average emotion level of the more advantageous side. Oh. Interesting. We only have one floor for this. Or two lights. On one side attack, gain keeping momentum and sudden break. And use use one keeping momentum and sudden break to boost all dice on this page by one. Breaking stalemate. On clash win, gain two keeping momentum. And on hit, gain two sudden break. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's this man's lore? Is he a basic grunt? Uh, yes and no. He's essentially a mini boss. Um, I mean, are we going up against him with uh, Roland? Is that is that the plan here? We go up against him with Roland. Oh, well, we only get one librarian. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> well, maybe maybe we go and we build up someone else then. You could do red mist. That is true. I oh, know. I'm half tempted just to meme. We can turn this into a true tower defense game. And go Tiffery. <laughs> go full <little> clown. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Um, let's see, what would be the fun one to do? some memes here. I think you really like the Ensemble Rework mod. Check it out. We'll, let's, we'll stick with one mod to start with. And then we'll go on from there if we decide to do more. Okay, let's, let's meme this up a bit. Mio's page. Currently on the red mist. Let's undo that. Um, we're going to actually just have to flat right clear the red mist. Sorry. I'm going to meme a little bit. Nope, that's not what I need. need that. No, not right now. Way to combine all of the strengths of uh, I'm scrolling way too far. Combine all the possible strengths of this floor. blunt stuff. Um, blunt dice power plus one. And then we're gonna want lone fixer. In the black silence, in Chun, in Philip, and Miris. Um, I think we can revert some of this. We're going to be building another person since there's going to be fights that will involve, involve two. I cannot speak. Involve two librarians. Okay. Dice power. And then lone fixer. And unfortunately, you suffer from three slot itis. So that's just going to be what we have to do there. I would like to also do Singular Strike. I tell you. Get rid of Puppet Skeleton. We're really gonna mean this up with Singular Strike. Savage mode, and then we want blunt. Give me everything with where is it? Blunt dice. Mm. 
meme the heck out of this thing. We know we, we got some other stuff, but we could also possibly mean what else was it? pages go. I could have sworn we got some special funky pages. what it is. I really don't know where that uh, stuff is. Okay, go back to bring me the blunt stuff. Well, I guess we aren't using specifically the blunt dice power plus one, so we don't have to. Um, let's see, what do we want? counter dice. Um, let's think, let's think, let's think. I think two brace ups will probably be good. say draw of the sword that might be a little bit low at this point uh, well all of his stuff was about build the deck he made during the reverberation um I don't know I'm just kind of experimenting I know that this probably isn't the greatest deck in the world Charge. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot about that. Okay, uh, going back then. 
totally forgot that you have charge. Does that only help out for a little bit? We do need more blown stuff though. I know, I'm just thinking of random things. <laughs> I'm all over the place. Um, unfortunately, I think most of our really good blunt cards... ...are not... ...what we're looking for. Emotional turbulence will go with repress flash. Should have put in some charge cards. Okay. Uh, it was that essential. I. The whole goal is to just give him the thing that makes it so that everything will become infinity. And that's the only reason why uh, Mogus would need charge is to gain haste. Then that doesn't sound like you're satisfied. <laughs> I'll, I'll put in some stuff with charge. Build the deck that you need, not gonna making decks as well. Okay. Alright, we'll see how bad my original deck original deck plan is. zero cost. Paralysis could be nice. Mm. 
problem is that's ranged. As much as we like ranged, he's all ranged, which means that that's not going to be a very effective counter. thing with a one cost. Actually, right, so what we can do is we can grab another draw of the sword. We can grab a draw of the sword just so that we can have some light restoration as well as one more singular strike activation. And then a second one. Which I think what we'll end up doing is just using Jehan. Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. So you just make a deck using only the character's cards? I mean, usually the character's cards tend to work out pretty well. Mots time indeed, because I didn't calculate time zones correctly, and the maintenance is currently going on for Limbus. I thought I would be safe from it, but I was not. This deck is probably horrible, but kind of sort of trying to meme it. This isn't from... And the eight of things are lined up. Uh, maybe for your time. <laughs> this isn't from Ark Knights. The music is not from Ark Knights. Over oh, 30 minutes. Okay. Um, let's see if I still remember how all this works. I do not remember how all this works. <laughs> That's unfortunate. The track is from Arcanites? I don't remember it. Hmm. Okay, so clearly I misremembered how this works. I think it's cutscene music? Hmm, okay.
That'll do that. Ah, darn. That's a blunt attack. Okay, that little lick right there, that, yep, nope, I understand now, that's, uh, yep. We'll do that, we're gonna help the counter die works. It did not. That worked well enough, though. And then... Darn. Nothing... Nothing great. Yes. Hmm. 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 Wait, I don't remember seeing what that wasn't in your deck. That wasn't in your deck, excuse me. On when clashing with non counter dice, use one stack of keeping momentum to replicate a pierce four to ten die at most five times. When clashing with a non counter die, use one stack. Interesting. On use in three keeping momentum and sudden break, inject two body armor will overheat next scene. So I don't have counter die right now. Which means we're using other things. This might suck. Ah, oh, just barely not enough to stagger. There we go, solemn lament. Not that we need it right now. I can just draw the sword and that's probably enough. But why not? A little bit more. Sorry. We got the book. Okay. And next. Probably should have put the haulers on him. That's probably what I needed. I needed haulers. That's fine. We'll make it work. Um, more than 50% of max HP costs 5% of max HP to make the next die gain plus one power. Otherwise, recover dies power when it lands with a successful hit. This one's gonna be tough. Do I have no grind? No, I do not. This guy, another mini boss? Yeah, I get the different feeling that most of these guys are all just gonna be essentially the mini bosses of. Um... Oh gosh, which which one is who's? I don't remember the. I, I I always get the two mixed up. I don't remember which one is um, Blumshine and which one's Neural. I don't remember the names. L losing a clash to an offensive die, roll the die again? What? It's 
Special combat page, fight to your death after HP drops 25%. Start of each act, increase all characters. Of okay, so just that, okay. One power up for this scene? Come on, two lanes. Right, who you're gonna face at the end of the fifth act? Oh boy. It's plus two power if the target die is defensive. Interesting. All dice in this page land successful hits. Inflict damage equal to 10% of target's match HP. I'm probably going to die. <laughs> Is, is that what it is? You know, maybe Blood Knight will show up. Oh boy. Okay. Start. I think this will be fun. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. Do that. Kind of forward march. Oh, not right there. Forward march right here. This will work. I'll buy the coffin. <laughs> this. I, I think this should work. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it works. <laughs> what was the special page? <laughs> mm, that's good. That was good. Hello, Titus. You're gonna come back. You're gonna have a second life, aren't you? We're attacking the character. Enemies dies, lose one power, okay. Making enemies staggered, make them recover from stagger, and inflict one low morale, which is all dice lose X power. Or X is obviously the number of stacks. Dang. Yep, there's unrelenting. HP does not go below one. If HP drops to one, recover all health, stagger resistance, and light up to start the next scene. And then gain one strength and endurance at the start of each scene once per act. There exists an enemy with three mole morale. The character will use a special combat page to terminate this duel. And then free battle stuff. Okay. Pages deal three stagger damage to target. All dice in this page gain on Clash Wind, inflict four stagger damage. Ooh. Yikes, and some of them are block already. Like five stagger damage on Clash Win, and then on hit. So you're very defensive. Not a lot of your stuff is offensive. You're just trying to stagger me. <laughs> this is the joke, I think you're gonna die here. Yeah, no, then just, yeah, yep, yep. Yeah. <laughs> you're right, you're right. <laughs> I don't think it's unnecessary in combat. Hmm. Alright, buddy. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, it's broken. Okay. That's interesting. Okay, okay, okay. Control bug with the ego card. Mm hmm. Hmm.
And then that one doesn't really do anything. This should work. I have tempted. Um, do it. <laughs> do the dark flame. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and then regret. Oh, buddy, you will feel regret. <laughs> This is going to be fun. I'm lagging just a tad bit. Um, let's see. I can probably... Oh, this will be fun. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. That one we don't need to worry about. That one we do need to worry about a little bit more. Hmm, kind of sucks to be using both of those. Did we gain enough to go and... I mean, we can just go and use Regret. But we could also just go and do that. <laughs> I don't think that's exactly the smartest idea, but... They fight Surtur later? Okay. I do have six power, yes, that is true. Unfortunately, he's only taking normal... from that. Deal with that, and then this one will deal with our counter die. <laughs> Forty five. <laughs> that should do it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh right, I forgot. You have you have that. Uh how about not anymore? <laughs> Can I just No? I'm giving you a chance here, buddy. All you have to do is just take it. I think I won. <laughs> I'll just... All right, up next should be candlelight. Right?
Oh no, not for not for Maria. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Wither Knight for uh, Maria. Yes, 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 yes. Candlelight and uh, what's his face? I cannot remember his name. Uh, but those two are and the Blood Knight and the Blood Knight. I'm actually really short. I just realized. Did I pull myself down that much? Did you pull myself down that much? Um, those are just with, uh, it's the Radiant Knight, that's not Maria, or Blumshine, whatever. Like Maria's next, okay. Start of each scene, all enemies take four stagger damage if this char- if the character- if the- if the character? It's not stagger. Okay. Like two random enemies, four st inflict stagger damage, four stagger damage on two random enemies upon landing a successful hit. For every three scenes, corrupt a knight and wither knight will use a special combat page. In their turn, be prepared. Instead of each scene, if there exists a dead ally with executioner for general chamber of commerce, gain plus four speed dice, draw eight pages, and make their cost become zero. Oh gosh. So they just get enraged, like in the game. Inflict all enemies, inflict four damage on all enemies. Uh, okay. Jeez. Well, they only have 75, though. So the question is... Do I go in with the two of them, or do I just go in with Yasad and say, Screw it, we ball. <laughs> <laughs> do a fight? So I should do it? I should do it with two? Hurt. Complete fracture will hurt. Everything else shouldn't be too terribly bad. Oh my gosh, it is tiny! Boost outgoing stagger damage by 5 when target stagger resist is more than 50% of their max. Boost outgoing stagger resist. Okay, by 5. Destroy target's next die. Ooh. And plus 1 power when target stagger resist is less than 50% of max for all of those dice. Okay. So this one's going to really suck. To deal with. That's what I'm a bit worried about. Cripple Strike and Complete Fracture. You I can deal with. Alright, I guess we'll go in with two. We lose Lone Fixer, but I'm gonna surround with some other stuff. Alright, Dark Flame is still present. Um Do you like blood damage? <laughs> oh buddy. Um perfect. Oh my gosh, you really just had to do it to me, huh? I'm just gonna go at this unopposed. You'll, you're, you're gonna stagger. That's just, I have no doubts there. You're gonna stagger. 
Oh, now I definitely recognize the music. Wow, you guys really just went all in on that first die, huh? Strings. What do we do, Pierce? That's... okay. Go ahead and do that. Alright. Let's try this. This is gonna be stupid. This is gonna be absolutely stupid but we're gonna do it anyway i'm particularly just gonna be really excited to watch this guy's sta uh stagger we just going <laughs> it's gone it's a haha funny meme yep <laughs> all right so the other guy's in rage now Not that we really have to worry about that. Oh man, look at all of that. It'd be a shame if I had something that... Alright, that's only usable at 20 charge. That's fine, I don't need to use it. I just needed the savage power. It'd be a dang shame. A real heckin' shame. If I were to go and use all of these on ones you couldn't do anything about. <laughs> you wanna use that? Go ahead. Go ahead. Just go ahead. I do not even care. <laughs> That should be enough. Yep. <laughs> that was fun. What's funny is that none of the none of the ways that I'm fighting are modded. So all this stuff is technically possible for me to just go and do it, unmodded stuff. Ah. Both of them, I see. Recover two stagger resists whenever this character takes damage. Lending a successful hit will recover four HP of another random ally. After achieving a clash win with a defensive die, at a slash 4-4 four, four die to the end. Ooh. For landing five successful hits, respond to one side attack with a guard 16. 16. On clash win, inflict sleep next scene. Attack units affected by sleep. Wow, okay. So after landing five successful hits, gain a card, a guard counter die, essentially. A really stupid powerful one. And there's that.
stagger resist. At the start of the scene, recover 4 HP and stagger resist of all allies. At the start of the scene, if the character has 3 light in store, more than 3 light stored, excessive light stored. I can read. If the character has more than 3 light, store excessive light as glow. On the next. Upon using a page, recover 1 light. If an ally with HP lower than 50% of max HP. If an ally is at 50% or lower of their max HP, add a copy of Pegasian, Pegasian's Radiance to hand. I can read. Wait, so what does Glow do? I now know what Glow does. User has more than six stacks of Glow. Use two Glow, so it's similar to like Smoke, but it's Glow. For 10 HP. Uh, use two Glow. Um, to give an ally with the lowest health two protection and stagger protection. A lot of counter stuff. Boost all power on page by one. Reduce maximum roll of all of dice of opponent's page by two. Ooh. Ooh. In a one-sided attack, defensive dice on this page will be transformed to offensive dice with minus two natural roll. Oh. That's actually a really cool mechanic. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Uh, that's a page. You'll be used at emotion level three or above, so you'll have it right off the bat, and you're going to use it on the first turn, in other words. On use, replace passive Surging Brilliance with Divine Avatar. Interesting. We'll have to see what that does. Alrighty then. I love the ideas of the. Yeah, no, those are so cool. It's so freaking cool. Okay, first things first. Puppet strings. You started off with sticks. What? Oh, because that's the start of the scene. Okay, I I understand. Oh, there we go. Now that, that one says it's good. Why did that one work? Oh, because we can use both of these. Okay, cool. I don't know what fixed it. Okay, who do we take out first? Could just be mean. This one, I don't think it's actually going to be that big of a deal to just take the hit. So I'll let it be. That's all you know. So mean. <laughs> By the way, I am listening.
functionally immortal Faust in modded Runa. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's a savage mode. Sorry, Neural. <laughs> Sorry, both Neurals. There are mods of that that distort certain characters from the story, like Shao or Nemo. Oh, interesting. I'll definitely, I'll definitely have to go diving a bit deeper into this. This one was definitely not the most difficult, but I think that's because it was listed as a Star of the City difficulty. Not... Check on Limbus. Ah! There we go. Got a bunch of... Bunch of books. So let's see, then that, yep, raises up to this. Ah, uh, and then the playoffs, okay. It's only one. So that'll probably be the candlelight night. First, let's burn, bu burn books. There's a lot of stuff that we can get from this. What is that? I don't know what that says. I don't know what that one says either. Hmm. Okay, so we're still missing one of the, one or two of the books. So let's see, what were all the special stuff? Classic tempo we did see. Repeat this die until it lands a, a one-sided attack. Dragging out the fight is ill-advised. What does that mean? Can only be used when under 25% of max HP. Hmm. Okay. I guess that card just has a broken title. It is open. Good, good, good. Die will inflict damages to other enemies when it lands successful hits. That's a three. For each low morale the target possesses, all dice in this page gain plus ten power. <laughs> Can only use against enemies with at least three low morale. So you have to, at minimum, it gains plus thirty. Yo, wait. That fight could be so stupid if you use Survivor. Stagger damage to a random target. Divine Avatar? What's funny is that this isn't unique, even though it says that it uh, will replace the thing. So I guess if it doesn't have it, you just don't replace it. All allies recover. We don't have an explanation for sleep. All allies gain Blessed of the Pegasian. For each Blessed of the Pegasian, gain one immobilized. Interesting. So, do we want to continue with the mods? Or do we want to hop over to Limbus? I'm down to do either one.
You vote Lumbus? Okay. We got the funny ahead of us. Fair enough, fair enough. We're waiting another like 10 seconds or so. If anyone wishes to voice your opinion, please do it now. Okay, I guess Limbus time it is. Give me just a moment. That was fun. That was that was a ton of fun. I guess I'll add uh Lobotomy with mods. Not lobotomy, uh library with mods. As a, a game that we can now add to the fallback sort of thing. No, 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 okay. Limbus Company, not, not library. Or not Lobotomy. Tell you what the next fight was in that mod. Uh, given that it's the playoffs, I assume it was Candle Night. The Candlelight Knight? I can't remember her name. Candlelight, okay. And then after that would probably be... What's-his-face? The guy who... Does haha ha, funny shadow? I hit you with shadow. If your back is to the shadow, I hit you. Thing. The guy who summons the shadow army. I can't. I can't remember his freaking name. I can't remember any names. Then after that would probably be Blood Knight. And then probably something to do with um. The General Chamber of Commerce with the uh Ooh, there was McCollum's. What platinum and the two um blue people blue archer people were in. Why didn't we call it their call? I don't know, whatever. Turn over to Limbus. And this is a first playthrough. I feel obligated to put in the free to play tag. Because he he he, I refuse to spend a single dollar. Okay, I believe I updated everything correctly. Come on, game, you got this. Oh, music. Put in a little bit of music. This will be the first time actually going and like installing something while live. And given the fact that we haven't died, that means really good things for our internet. That is actually exceptional. Because when doing this, uh, the old internet, the stream crashed like seven or eight times 
<laughs> it was a disaster. But now we're... Now we're going. I won't say it's super duper fast, but I don't expect it to be while I'm live. Also, I absolutely love In Hell We Live Lament. It's such a good freaking song. I swear more than half of my playlist is just stuff from Project Moon, uh, Xenoblade music, and Arknight's music. That's like half of my music playlist. Because he chills when they harness. Yeah, it's so good. And then I also cheated a little bit. Um, I listened to Between Two Worlds. That was also really, really good. I know I wasn't supposed to hear it yet, but it just popped up and I was like, oh, Between Two Worlds, let's see, it's a new song. I didn't think, you know, this could possibly be for Limbus. I didn't realize that until after I listened to it. I was like, oh, shoot. But it was good. I particularly like the World of Darkness part of it. But I think it gets better because of the World of Light part of it. The contrast. The juxtaposition, to use a fancy word. There's one infamous mod on the workshop for Ruina, but you'll share it another time. Hmm. Okay, I should be able now. Do that, do this, do this, and do this. Don't you dare, no, no, you don't, no. It <laughs> just popped up a little window saying not responding. It was like, don't you, no. There it is, okay. Do. Notice. Game stopping error? What no. Oh, wait, that was, uh, that was about the battle pass. Yoink. All right, then. Let's go ahead and do polls. Let's get Reddit mod Faust. Or not. That, that, that works. That's fine. I <laughs> just get pity. Okay. Chapter 2. Soldiers of Limba. My favorite game, Limba. Hold yours to the next update? Fair enough. I just feel like I've been getting a ton, so I'm like, ooh, go and use it. I also don't feel... Uh, what's it? FOMO. I don't feel so much FOMO with this game. It doesn't feel like if I miss out on a identity, I'm going to be missing out on so much. Um, it feels very different in some other games. Which I, don't know, I applaud this game for. It takes a lot to not Inspire FOMO. Because it's a very easy way to get people to burn out if you have FOMO with your game. They made for pathetic pose. That was absolutely nothing. Kong Kong Ipan and Igori Il Terichipia with Don Chiptania. Hambonage on Turkin Nakianin. The Tin Kang Gang had. The Tin Kang Gang. That's such a mouthful. I had tight control over this area. This is not going to be the end of. 
Just then, more Ting Tangs began showing up from the street corners. Send your haircuts to Mets with us. Okay, now I know why the chapter has that title. <laughs> with the proud soldiers. I think we quickly covered <laughs> Quickly covered Junkie with his mouth. Have you lost it? Do you want the entire district after us? More coming. Giving us your command, manager. I did see that we're going to get, uh, I think that was, I think it was uh, the Seven Association bonus. I'm hyped for that. Sure as well. Yeah. Alright, I take it there's nothing terribly special here. Yeah, no, nothing really. Alright, what did we need? Man, I love this music. Great. That's not what I meant. I mean, both blues, purple, yellow, green, or we needed everything, didn't we? So association. I haven't gotten anything from the Southern Association. Okay, I want to see... I want to see you. Okay, so... Orange, green, and then both blues. We probably won't get the chance to do this, just given... how this works. Good. We still need another orange. Two sevens. He's selling in Rishu. Ah, okay. Hold on. We also need some more of the blues, don't we? Yeah, we need two more. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Both are too soft. Good. Mm. All right, now we get to do some fun stuff. I already like that. Game did not like it when I did that. That should be a two star. I mean, hey, keep it to upgrade. 
Easier to get. So be it if it is. This isn't with the big hype up. It's, it's not, but you know. Yeah, they just won't stop coming. Well, where are our lives now before we can even take a step inside the casino? Yeah, she feels so strong. Yeah. And they're like, very strong. Someone with already two three stars gets a three star seven instead. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that I actually already have both of his three stars. A pure freaking coincidence. Don't fret, Heathcliff. As long as the manager is with us, we won't die from fatigue or other things. It's not the point at all. Heggerun Kandanata. Oton Chujigitrado. Good Tegaril Kebusmian. Tobaton Cookie Tongarin and Munojinda. The solution is simple. Any organization can be brought down by deposing its leader. The head gone, the meat supporting it will break apart. No. Yogiso Yuirage Mamedun Sorir Hane. You. You're the only one speaking my tongue here. Judging Nani Kachopusurakaja. Proper myth, so let's go break some bones head or whatever. Prince, onward we travail. Wait, come back here. Post. No keso irone did on Kachitanya Anagonia. Isn't the crowd you're supposed to accompany Faust? Life is full of mysteries. Kuroki, Isang Jogirago has to eat kiss. Is perhaps, perhaps, is what makes an idea of reflection, no? Tell me where your gaffer is. I want to see him now. He's gonna grab the mook by the collar and shook it about violently. To me, it looked as if anything still conscious had left already. <laughs> and maybe even more than that. See hearts is gonna be at the car pagoda. Shut up! Shut up, you idiot! I'll get you. The what? Where the hell is that? Makes sense. The old man's pet shop. It's probably the scrapyard nearby. But are you really planning to take down the gang's boss? Really? Are you actually planning to take down the gang's boss? Really? Are you actually planning to take down the gang's boss? Really? Are you actually planning to take down the gang's boss? Really? That won't be reflected in your employee performance review or anything, you know? Oh, he's just, he would just do it for fun. He doesn't even care if it's a part of the job. He just wants to... He just want to whack someone with the bat. He's not sharp enough to calculate such things into his actions. He's waste, bearing little re relation to schemes or plots. On the other hand, he flirts closely with nonsense. You know what I was realizing? Uh, Rodian, despite being apparently a native here, if I understood that correctly, has not spoken much, like at all. No, I do think that makes sense. Nothing to worry about, Epi. We always keep a plan B, don't we? Let's work with the serene face. However, I could see her consciously trying to maintain calm from time to time. Give me reason to suspect that she's putting on a veil of kindness. If disguising as your given roles is out of the question. She isn't from here, but she knows the district. Ah, okay. We can all get up as members of the Ting Tong gang instead. That way, no one draws much suspicion when we get a large group. And you'll be able to reach the top floor without much notice, without much trouble. And we can siphon some wish power from the Ting Tong gang while we're at it. Boss time?
in more ways than one both time. Towering cars. In we go. Oh. Come hither, fellows, and lend me your cases. What's all this? Cars are heaped up each other, heaped upon each other as if to form a tower. Slumbering. Destructions that seem tower like at a distance were actually cars stacked upon each other. Why are so many piled up like this? Oh, cool. Some of scoops upon their windshields. Must have been their family's writing. This one says, I miss you. The owners are coming back for them soon. Back soon for them, right? Not a chance. Oh, this is where people gambled away their cars. And that was like a a, a, a message, <laughs> like a, a, a passing message. Final words or whatever. Even if they did return from the casino, they wouldn't be in the right state to happily reunite with their loving families. <sighs> well... Well, to play the auxiliary role of your tour guide, this here is the hidden landmark of the street. The bitter end of gamblers. And this served as a stepping stone for the Qingtang gang to amass wealth and power by, use, by dealing these cars. Soroja, you've been to places like this pretty often, right? Got anything to add? But you can tell us some pretty interesting trivia. Ah, 몰라 몰라, 기억 안 나. 난 과거는 다 잊고 앞만 보며 살아가기로 결심했어. So you had only bad experiences, got it? Ah, uh, don't know, don't know, don't remember a thing. I decided to forget all about the past and focus on what's in front. 저런 방해꾼들만 없으면. <laughs> and I would be able to keep that self-promise if not for irritants like them. Boy, Bonin, what do you think you are? What do you think you are to goof around on our turf? <laughs> goof around our turf? <laughs> what, you here to sell your car? Nay, we mount an omnibus. <clears throat> we don't deal with organs, though. Hmm. Well, I guess a pair of eyes with pupils especially colored as yours might sell. We have come to the right place. We are here for your leader. You're pretty bold in facing a gang. Who do you work for? <laughs> Gosh dang it. <clears throat> we live... We serve on... The awkward silence passed. I asked you a question. Don't stop midway. Oh my gosh. At least they caught themselves. This is someone else didn't have to go.
jeez. And then Bamboo, Seko Hamida. Yeah. Alrighty, let's see. Who do we want to use? We're using Grip Faust, available to you from support. Sounds good. There we go. Nice and easy. Kurumul Tara, Sampo Pionesmita. All right. So we want uh let's not right. Cool. We'll go with that then. <laughs> Um, what do you take? Green? 
Dark Blue. 네. 목적지를 Dark Blue. 아이고, 작전 호출. 아이고, 작전 호출. 검은 가라뒀다. 대어내겠습니다. 네. Light Blue. 목적지를 향해. 대어내겠습니다. 네. 검은 가라뒀다. 피가 범람할 시간이요. Yeah, that'll work. This is a tad bit popular. Yeah. I'm seeing nothing but memes. About good old Reddit mod Faust. This guy's a boss? I expected some big, real buff guy. But I guess that fits the aesthetic. And Corporean as well. Hmm. Hmm? What's up? But some vessel. Oh, but that's not a horrible word. Um, who has it? You haven't even told where they're from. Roll into town all of a sudden. Who's then, Jeff? The way your dress tells me. Any... Uh, Los Habaneros are the butchers. <laughs> her face looking into a microwave making pizza. <laughs> That's amazing. I'll give you a chance to grovel for forgiveness. Do that and I'll let you live with your limbs and tell. We should gladly part if you were to take off your clothing for us. <laughs> that makes it sound kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> Boss, I think they might be the god pods people have been talking about. You know, rumored to finagle with people's odors. What? What? Ugh, disgusting bunch. Let me tell you, that's no way to live. Now I assume the big boss of the gang is looking at us with genuine disgust. I have not wanted to win a fight as desperately as, as I do now. Oh, jeez. Alright, uh, wave one shouldn't be anything. Anything terribly hard. Oh boy, we're chugging a little bit. There we go. Again, I love this battle theme. Okay, so green and blue. Purple. Okay, so green, both blues, purple, and orange. The gripping. <laughs> Love the jazz casino style music they put for the chapter. Yeah. to use that, right?
Come on, game. You can do it. Oops, running across the top. Oh, oh, oh. I don't care what skills we use because it's just gonna be the first three. Alright. Let's see what you got, buddy. Uh. Actually, nothing terribly special. Okay. Well, let's see. Go ahead and do that. And then we also need... For the next one... Some more purple and... Was that light blue? Light blue. All right, then. <laughs> that was so cool. That was actually pretty cool. Was that uh, the teddy bear? Was that like the needle and thread used to sew up, sew up the teddy bear or something like that? Is that what that was supposed to be? My guy's got massively negative sanity. Minus 45, heck yeah. Alright then. Now then, let's see how this looks. And then... We need to replenish. Because like that. Okay, it's just, it's not gonna like me doing that. There we go. That works. I think he's gonna last even to the final move. Yeah, there he goes. <laughs> Alright, then that was easy enough. Yeah. Dark roaches. Who the hell do you work for? About time you 
Finally, one less millstone around the neck. That doesn't help at all. That was for reference, I mean, I work in a different department. Please don't associate us with them. <laughs> the sheer frustration over our aversion to conversing sensibly must have played a considerable role in causing the boss to pass out. <laughs> My condolences to the four fellow patients. Oh my gosh. Kronda, since I used to be a boy, damn them say, pin them say. Could you keep one up to get Kunku and them said to Nanda Maria? It was one of the most stupid cutscenes I have ever seen, and I love it. <laughs> You seriously have to wear these though? The stuff makes of sweat and blood, and smells grotty too. Rhoda complained, lifting the shirt she took from a Ting Tang member with two fingers, like she was holding trash. It gets better? Oh boy. Yuck, some hair too. It's the first time I'm jealous of Dante's missing eyes. I can see. By the way, just just letting you know. 생각보다 질은 좋아 보이는데 얘네 생각보다 돈잘 버나 봐. This looks pretty dandy, actually. I guess their business was more successful than I thought. 나랑 바꿔 내놔. What about that, Bagsy? 아니, 맞춤형으로 제작된 옷이라 안 돼. I, I can't. It's been tailor made. The label here says it's good for all girths. Okay. Noticing that my gaze was fixed on the label of his clothing, Effie barked. Hey, Chue. If you don't have any trouble in the house, you won't have to do this place. I wouldn't have been doing any of this if you hadn't caused that ruckus in the pawn shop. It's okay. I just wanted to wear this dress for a while. I don't mind. I always want to try on clothes like these, like for like a movie. To be honest, I'm a little nervous. It's been a while since I've worked in the skies. I don't feel like it. This is a coward's way. Sorry, who are these people? Don't let them get in your way. Sorry, but can someone please keep her mouth shut? You're free to try as long as you're good with your ribs being cut apart. Your <laughs> softly smoking repose got the sinners to crack up. For a moment, Epping Thun seems to wonder how they should take it before deciding that it's not worth mulling over and moving on. He then lifted a small container that appeared to be inlaid with an. A knack? Knack? Knackery? Knack? knack I don't know what the word is. This is a wish canister we see from the Ting Tang gang's boss. Manager, here's a simple role you can play. What are you? I guess we owe you an explanation, judging from your clueless motions. I guess we owe you an explanation, judging from your clueless motions. I guess we owe you an explanation, judging the long and short of it is that this thing contains J Corp's other singularity. This is the tool that sucks up wishes from people and stores them in some form of energy. With Primus right, squeeze that wish power onto a sheet of paper, and voila! You get a one-use stick-on tattoo that boosts your luck to high heavens. 
일개 건달 보스가 이런 걸 들고 있다니. Seems the plan was to try and win the game on the top floor by scraping up each other's, scraping up others' luck. Imagine the boss of some lowly gang was carrying one of these. 관리자, 단테렛나? 카지노에 들어가기 전에 당신이 이걸 보관하고 있어. Manager Dante, right? I want you to hold on to this when we enter the casino. Am I really allowed to carry such a big responsibility? 영 자신 없어 보인다는 몸짓이지만 당신을 지목한 이유는 있어. You don't look like you're using confidence. We do have reasons for assigning you to, to this task. 첫 번째 도박판에 제일 중요한 건 포커 페이스야. I mean, fair enough. First off, a poker face is going to be vital when you're gambling. 아무리 표정 읽기에 능수능란한 그들이라도 시계의 표정까지 가늠할 수는 없어. No matter how good they are at reading expressions, they won't be able to tell what emotions to read from a clock. I mean, he's not wrong. 두 번째, 당신이 관리자가 된 것엔 나름 이유가 있을 거라고 생각해. Second, I trust that they've appointed you as manager for a reason. 그나마 저 수감자들보다는 쓸만할 거라는 내 막연한 믿음이야. Call it a hunch, but something tells me you'll be more useful than those sinners you're leading. Come to think of it, he had a point. I was given the title of manager, but never had a chance to be the charismatic leader I'd envisioned. So showing respect, my sinners would constantly berate and threaten me. Except Otis. Otis probably shows too much respect. Otis is just simping. Otis doesn't show respect, Otis just simps. If you respect someone, then you still know when to be critical of them. <laughs> the only real role I could afford to play was bringing them back to life. While the sinners were engaged in fierce battle, all I would do is cower behind them, anxiously praying that their heads and hearts were unscathed. She is the hype woman. Yeah, that's fair enough. The heavy heart, I noted, I nodded to let him know I was ready. 당신은 이제 잠깐 동안 세상에서 가장 운 좋은 자가 될수 있어. All right, put this on your arm and become the luckiest person in the city for a short while. 그럼 여러분은 콩콩이 파, 저희는 딜러. 서로 역할에 최선을 다해 보죠. Yeah, you like to sting jangers? Oh, with the croakers. Like like everyone. Horrible choice of words to use with these people. Knowing that we'll see this operation to success no matter what. We open the door to the, to the casino. Break a leg. What a horrible choice of words to the people who just picked a fight with an entire gang. Alright. All right, here we go. The casino can be best described as busy. Successfully cheering sounds blared from, blared from the slot machines. The lights were so bright that some of our sinners had to cover their eyes. And the security guards took note of our garish outfits to give us a customary nod. So Nefe, Joseph's Scorpius, discreetly nodded at us as they accompanied Rodeo to the casino's cage. I was amazed by their ability to feign expertise from the way they carry themselves to the facial expressions they made. You would doubt that they're longtime employees. Confidence will get you so many places. So... One little fact. Um, I have been to many places, many dinners, award ceremonies, stuff like that, with people who I do not know. And apparently, just by the way that I hold myself, they assume I'm mm, a very different age and of a very different position than I actually am. Yeah, they assume I am some very high-ranking position just by the way that I hold myself. 
since I have been asked multiple times, um, just like what I do, and then when I say what I do, like you know, just oh, uh, you know, I just you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they're like, oh, I figured you, you know, figured you were blah 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 blah. So yes, holding uh, confidence, just the way you carry yourself, facial expressions, um, maintaining your general image, that's, it goes a long way. Um, I've been told that, like, maintaining yourself, acting confident, standing up straight, you know, stuff like that, that can add up to, like, 15 years, essentially, make you look 15 years older. Which makes sense. I've had people ask me if, uh... I've had people offer to buy me a drink. And I was like, bro, I'm like, 18. <laughs> so it, it does, it makes you look a lot older if you can carry yourself the right way. And it makes you seem a lot more experienced if you can carry yourself the right way. So that much this is actually really true. Sorry, a bit of a tangent. <laughs> what manner of sorcery are these guys in contraptions? Trying to go saucer, I did everything like a fascinated kid, don't you, Alter? You'll seem fishy. I guess they look dead inside with their dim eyes, and they smell worse than the Ting Tang schmucks we face. Do they even wash? I don't think they'd be too happy about you holding your nose for, for their faces, Ishmael. But this is the kind of bilgy stench I only stench I only caught ever caught from deckhands. Fortunately, most of them were too focused on the machines to care about what we were doing. Manager Esquire, have you ever have you have you ever seen such a thing? What must I do to hear the jolly bells that other patrons are? I don't think I've been to one of these places before, so I wouldn't know. Looking at all the flashy symbols and numbers spinning had slowly eroded my resolve to act the part of a certain manager. I... Yeah, the little peek is fine? It's okay to press the button. Is pressing it what we want to do? We shouldn't do that. We're going to use all of our luck. I swear upon my minute in our hands, I had no intention to press that button. Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, we just use up all our luck on this machine, don't we? The hand I'd swiftly outstretched to stop Don Quixote from touching the machine unexpectedly fumbled and landed smack on the button. Yikes. And in an unpredictable series of coincidences, someone had left a token in it. Enough for one game. Oh my gosh. Real started spinning under fanfare. We can only watch as a chain of events unfolded. Anyway, <laughs> I hope Dante handles the wish stick as we took on the Ting Tang gang with care. 그 관리자라는 자. 우리가 유일하게 말한 부탁인데 그 정도는 해내야지. Oh boy. The manager it's the only favor we asked of them, so they better be doing a good job. You can count on Dante, dear duo. One of the few sensible pals who guess what's up. Okay, let's get to here. There's so many sheets of tents, they should be able to win any game with these. We just need to be careful not to draw attention here. <laughs> the players next to us stand with jaws dropped so far that their chins could touch the floor. 
waves of casino chips plunge from the machine so many that I wouldn't even dare to try to gather them all up. I'm so sorry, Heavy Soda. <laughs> I came here determined to do something right. It fell apart all so soon. Jackpot? What machine is it? Just like that? No warning? Right now? One moment, please. Let me just check your ID. What's with the aggro? Is it a crime to like big casino? Chance in this place doesn't work out the way we think it usually does. You could accumulate your luck for big payout or small or trickle in small amounts to break even. But winning the jackpot on your first try should be a little impossibility here. Always wins. Took the rain down like shooting stars. I'd hope for you of all people to have a sense of responsibility, yet all it took was Don Quixote's siren plea for you to give in. I'm disappointed. You're none other than our manager, and I expected you to show your capability and your and declare disgrace and clear the disgrace of failure from us. Ishmael's barrage of scathing whispers was something to marvel at as Gregor muttered in awe. On top of that, her piercing gaze I had never felt before. Made me want to weasel away under a rock, a horror one. For once, I thanked my clock for locking eyes to meet her glare. No, no, hold on. That might not be our only problem. Gregor was fretfully looking in every direction until he stopped to point at the shocking discovery he just made. He pointed. How long have you been off your disguise, Roshu? Was a sullen Ryochu. Or in the same clothes, she's always warm. I don't put on all this discarded clothing. Manager Bud, today isn't our day, huh? Yep. Uh, looks like we're screwed. Royally. It can't be. All the work we did to put this plan in motion. Boss, what were you thinking, bro? I'm doing these fools so long for your missions. Because I have near unparalleled brilliance, right? Then use it! Even though I haven't worked with them for long, I was able to realize something. I have to become a Faust that believes in uncertainty. When the lack of a plan becomes a plan, all variables become constants. That's not how that works. That is what my plan entails. The enemy can't know what you're doing if you don't even know what you're doing. <laughs> Oh man. I have you all figured out, really? Because I don't. <laughs> I've actually had that happen before. Someone go and tell me, ah, I see what you're planning. That is, is I see what you're doing. And my only response was, that makes one of us. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Bones turned to me with a tranquil face. Thanks to her, my role right now became clear. Alright, it's time for our usual gig. Let's kill and be killed.
Oh my gosh. <laughs> so why did we put on the stickers at the start? Why wouldn't we just put on the stickers later so something like that couldn't happen? Oh, whatever. It is what it is. Help, help, help. Help there, thank you. Good. That's unfortunate. So on though. Heck yeah. And uh, one. Next. Oh boy. What are we gonna do this time? <laughs> can't stand watching this charade. How much time are you gonna waste fighting those small fries? 보통 그렇게 말하는 사람 치고. It's often the case that grumbling people don't have a clear solution to contribute. Listening to Ishmael's disappro disapproval, she took, her, she took her head and assumed a confident look. This is art. Oh, Taster, give me the knife. You may forever take it from my hands. We'll be better off parting ways to wander about the air for however long. Thank you. Ushu held his dagger and threw it straight into the air. Struck an anchorage on the ceiling that kept the chandelier still, causing it to sway precariously. Indeed, Ushu may be weakened from what she once was because she became a sinner. But nevertheless, she's still the best swordsman we had. Swordswoman, excuse me. Swordswoman we had. Cut through steel like a proverbial hot knife. Sure, she treats my words with less respect than she would have wanted gum, but that wasn't a problem. Everyone's eyes turned to the swinging chandelier. And eventually, blasted by all the gazes falling upon it. Thus, in a haze, it succumbs. Huh? Watch out! She nearly crashed to the floor in full force, making a tremendous noise. And that's just all it did. Nothing else happened. Both parties were left staring at the fallen light fixture in the middle of the floor. 
So. Oh, what was that for? Your shoe? Pop monster. A performance. This is also turning into brain rock music. You just made that up, didn't you? Still, I'm glad none of us were hurt. She did it for the funny. Let's see about that. Okay. What in the world is this chapter? Oh my gosh. Chapter's freaking ridiculous. <laughs> it fell to the ground. Don't expect any more exclamation. That's it. it. It fell. I don't know what else you want. <laughs> Um, let's go across like that. That took way too many clashes to go and deal with. Okay. Oh, we'll go with that. Mulla Sajan Kissing. Mole Peter and Lock get cooked. That's that. You're done now. Um, let's see. Have to take a closer look at the uh, the art. Ah, oh, we didn't even get it. Oh yeah, it is all the different floors. That's pretty cool. That's pretty. That's pretty cool. I'll just run along the bottom here. Yeah, that should do it. Nice. Nice. Not as nice. Also not as nice. That's nice. Not that it was really needed though. Alright. The game doesn't like it when I do that. But I do. <laughs> nice. Just to make sure. Uri Mukjogi, Katino eating a Paxalegiga Anira, Cook the eating is a porotin and game for his ego and then gone. I go to. We all know our, that our goal is to win the game being held on the top floor, not reduce the ground floor of the casino to rubble, right? I was certain that some definitely didn't know or care, but I figured I'd rather not remind her. 
게임에 이겨야 하는 것이 최종 목표니까. Not only must we win to reach the top, we also have to win the game as our objective states. 우린 그럴 만한 양의 소망력이 있어야 해요. Thus, we need the wish power to make it happen. 우리가 힘겹게 쟁취한 소망력이 어처구니 없는 이유로 한꺼번에 물거품이 되어 버렸다는 이야기는 굳이 언급하지 않겠습니다. I don't bother reviewing in detail. I don't bother reviewing in detail how the wish power we have managed to collect went down the drain for preposterous reasons. It only hurt our morale. I had to keep my head down, feeling the pricks of conscience poking at my heart. Where can we secure the most wish power in this place? I roulette next to the entrance. People who visit the casino try their daily luck using that roulette and take or yield wish power depending on the outcome. If that's so, then I'll seek out an opportunity to snatch a container attached to it. You can pull that off? I've carried out countless operations much greater in scale. In other words, no, this is not going to work. Your preposterous blunder accounts amounts to nothing in the grand scheme of things, manager. That is the one time I think she has ever criticized us. And she immediately took it back. Never mind. <laughs> Here I thought character development was happening. Nope. It has to have been the fault of the judging dredges who obfuscated your ability to make sensible decisions. Don't let their words deter you. Preposterous. I see. Wait. While you're busy discussing backup plans, Heathcliff was already making a mad dash for the entrance. Or did you focus on the conversation, or did we collectively lose our minds? In either case, none of us had a clue what he was up to. Heathcliff? Damn it, is it in time we stopped chatting and moved up already? Then he shouted at security from the top of his lungs. Aren't you ashamed of yourselves? That blonde over there is a rookie who's as unfledged as he gets. And that mate over there we call our manager has a bad case of lost memories and can't wait to walk them to save himself. This is what you're struggling against? What a joke. Damn you. Heathcliff, that was too harsh. Here, here. Much too mean, Heathcliff. And last thing, my club you're holding deserves a better honor. You got you little. Infuriate security guard swung the club with a furious wish, exploding towards Heathcliff. And as Heathcliff slurred out of the way, the roulette behind him bore the force, being smashed to pieces. Wow, okay. Heathcliff using a brain cell. Alright, that's that's probably the most unexpected thing that's happened this this chapter. Probably this whole game, honestly. The wish container. Oh, never mind. He smashed the container. Which means we don't get it anymore. Never mind. I take that back. He didn't use a brain cell. I thought he was using that to go and smash the container to get it open so we can grab it. I realize that's. Okay. Thoughts of what I assume I once wish power until moments ago poured through the poor remains of the roulette. As if in death throes, Sod let out an agonized scream before clasping her hands over her mouth. I couldn't help but turn away from this tragic sight. When I grow up, I want to be a wish sticker, giving hope to everybody. <laughs> you can almost hear the unfulfilled dreams of those lost wishes in my imagination. <laughs> Listen up, you sickos. 
Do you want to admit to your boss about breaking this thing while fighting us and get lambasted for it? What do you want to make it our fault and let it through? What's there? This one wants to make a flock. It won't be any safer for you upstairs. Oh, yeah, never been too close to safety anyway. Appreciate the advice. Okay, so we still use the brain cell, but not exactly in the right way. He's close came to me with one of his shoulders dislocated, like when he was grazed by the club. What's the look? Do your thing and fix me up. Can we not just pop the shoulder back into place? Can we? Is that not an option? Like, is that really not an option? I've made up my mind. Starting now, I won't ever try to discuss plans or anything similar with these people. Fair enough. Took you long enough to realize. Faust. This is one of those times when it's better to keep your mouth shut. With that, we jog ourselves up to the next floor. Oh my gosh. <laughs> This floor is great, oh boy. Oh, oh boy. This, this, this is not going to end well. It's, it's not, I know, it's not going to end well. The atmosphere here seems rather different. It appears that another syndicate has taken a hold of this floor. Hey, Oyen! What's with all the doom and gloomy wearing on that face of yours? I can't roll my R's, so don't expect me to do that. Don't you know the rules here? Sour looks are a no-no, so put a hat over your long face. Why don't you say that while looking at me? I will think on you. No one's gonna know what that means. What's that mean? Snap your neck completely. I like that. Okay, you know what? That one that one works. That would I, I I can I can see people start to use that. <laughs> Easy real shoe. You're so prone to starting fights. Hey never mind that. This one has an even more problematic face, no? What's hand is supposed to be your eyes? Real shoe, are you ready? <laughs> you know what? Never mind. I still stand by what I said. Violence is not it's not the answer. Uh but I'm gonna change the previous part of that. It is the question, and the answer is yes. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> 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 Oh, we got Travel Sword Mine as well. Do that. Okay. 
꽤잘 갈렸군. 아, 뭐지? 충분합니다. 방해물을 제거합니다. 목표 완전 무력화. 모을 필요는 없겠군요. 음, let's see. Do we have an ego ready? We do have an ego ready. Only oh, single target, but how about? There we go. 물러서지 않겠습니다. 온다. Simply because I can. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so we just flipped coins 12 times in a row and it landed on heads 12 times in a row. one no this one thank you because funny combo Loser. That's that. Immu Mukpyo, Wanjon Hegel. Is it Pokyake? Kyoshin good. Well, we'll increase again. We have. A lot. Let that sink in. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let that sink in. Why? I don't... Actually, I, I just realized I don't think they ever made that joke in uh, AI the Somnium Files. I can't recall any scene where they made that joke. Thinking too hard about this. Alright, so who's got something that's also only single target, isn't it? Yeah, that's also only single target. Um, 
don't know. There's really any reason to do that. Let's just go along with this. Alright, now we get to have some fun. Ah, no heads. There we go. Yo, what's up? Could have some Oh, yeah, I see what this one is. Just staring at a possible new ego coming out. I uh, rather impressive fan art. Ooh. Uh, not again. Plus, once again. Damn. How will this end? Oh, you spare time out. Your dear customer here needs a little care. Dear customer, I hope you haven't forgotten the rule, have you? But that was all the money I had. You keep damaging the mood of the table, we might throw a pañata party out of you. Uh, what's a pañata party? I don't think I want to know. I mean, my only guess is very very gruesome so I won't describe it in the case of it's a fan art it does feel like the real deal nice that's always some like some really cool fan art is whenever you see stuff like that pressured by gentle intimidation the weeping guests sit up from their seat and then being handed a pair of maracas from the staff they started dancing popping all the way um, unfortunately, Automod will bonk you, so I suggest you don't. I'm sorry. What's this now? There's a rule every visitor to this, to this floor must follow. We have tradition mariachi, if you will. Gambling is entertainment, an activity done purely for fun. Thus all the sadness and pain brought to you must be sublimated into dance. Oh, this night to demonstrate what dancing is about. Alas, they were harsher judges than they seem. This one won't do. Her movement is insincere. What on earth do you mean? This is a window to the heart. Without a clear and pure heart, it loses all meaning. I find that assessment rather disgracious. Came across it by accident? Hmm. This is getting further out of hand. What are you doing, Sada? Oh, I was writing a letter of apology into the heads. On Twitter? Hmm. 
a letter of apology in advance. That's probably smart. That's that's smart. There we go, got a rainbow down there. That's actually very satisfying to see. I don't know why you were looking through there in the first place. I'm so happy to see it. Nice. I don't remember, is yours? Multi target? I don't know. Go for it. I'm sure that means really she's getting a new ego. Ooh. Just burned 200 boxes on Dawn to get and got 395 ego shards. Dang. Seeing a dude by teleport. I don't see more cracked. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Alright, and now for memes. Uh, who's got a multi target? You have a multi target, right? Just want to see. Yeah, it's just single. That is also a single target. But no one has anything to really go with it, so that's fine. Everybody gets an ego. Loja, there we go. Nice. More are we? Your hanging. Gun sword. Heck yeah. 
꽤잘 갈렸고. Gun swords and whip swords will always be so freaking cool to me. Because they are completely and utterly like just not practical in real life. <laughs> <laughs> as absurd as it sounds, if we want to leave this floor early, we need to touch their hearts with a powerful dance. The scene? Oh boy, they're all gonna dance. As you all know, my memories are hazy, so... Dance? Is it? Can't say I'm all too familiar. Venetia caves in handy as an excuse to opt out of things at times like this. Of course, I haven't actually forgotten what dance is, but there's no need to be too honest about it, is there? But a pretty middling game which had a snake sword and it was your main go-to weapon? Mm. Say, Hong Lu, have you taken dance lessons or anything? I learned a little Bian Flan, Bian Lan. Though I only had three instructors teaching me. Perform it, I'll need a few masks, fans, makeup, and. We aren't going to find them here. Next. Well, I did step on a few, on a good few feet of snobbish aristocrats at balls. My inner voice expresses fear. Me? I spent half my life on a ship. That's right. Jesus, relentless and directed by words. Luxor was able to latch onto walls and drag you. Oh. There's a power to freeze time for three seconds. That's pretty valuable. So it's the first time in a while. Does it sound bad? I'll kill it on the floor. Please don't. 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 So the only beats I have danced to throughout my life were morning exercise programs during roll call. If the manager so demands, I will meet you to see to it that- Dante, I have all my own self-esteem, but my voice is so bad. Good proposal solving a hideous scraps, nice. Well, Dante, I'm good at most things, but my dancing is kind of embarrassing. Paris, quite a bit. So, audiences are going to be able to dance with their bodies. No problem. I don't mind, except my arm might reach out of control, and from the simulation and chart for the audience's heads. Faust is not only a dancer who enjoys dancing, but he can also dance with the crowd. Pass doesn't necessarily enjoy dancing for leisure. Make her glad to perform a routine if it's for the mission's sake. It's not technical per perfection they want. They're looking for something unstable and unpolished, rather. What? You busted a mover too, too as a kid, didn't you? But bus? I suppose I took a basic maracas course at school as a liberal arts class. What do you do in a maracas course? Genuine question. What do you do in a maracas course? Came from a rich family too? I just figured that out, were you? I can tell from the way he walks and talks. On the other hand, uncultured ones. It shows, you know. With your quietly giggled while looking at Heathcliff, then snuck up behind Sinclair to wrap her arms around his shoulders. Okay, now, my little Sinclair, I have a very, 
Very important task for you. Oh, 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 Hey, Ro Roja, where are you? Moments later, Sinclair solemnly walked onto the stage. Sinclair, you can do this. Yeah, think of all the times when Heathcliff trampled over you. I'm... Sinclair turned to Roja, still looking anxious. Am I really able to do this? Sinclair. Wrong question, Sinclair. This is something only you can do. He returned a determined nod. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I see her. That's why my dance. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's a little... Oh, my gosh. So many details in this scene. What in the world? Why? Chris is the best background character. Indeed he is. The wrist rocking. That pensive expression. Restrained rhythm. Perfection. There's, yeah. He's like, what is going on? They're all great. It's calm. The calmness. Yeah, it's the calmness that stirs. There is my heart. It's your man. He's channeling something from within. Sublime. His body repels darkness and inner turmoil with the body's motion. Oh, Surely a bunch of disorganized idiots. Okay, buddy, calm down a bit. Oh, this lingering glowing ash. Hitting the rhythm. Professions to be struck along. It's not just an image. What of a bonfire that has burned through a whole night. And we are witnessing the... Cotillion of Ash dancing atop its remnant. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> Young man, would you consider joining us? You have the potential to grow big. That boy belongs to our company. If you're not siphoning valuable talent from their current employment without permission, it's a serious crime. A few hours ago, Sinclair was only one moron in our band of blunderheads, but now he's been elevated to the company's valuable asset. <laughs> this is how Mariachi Sinclair was born. Oh boy. What a fine performance. You wish to get to the top floor, right? You may pass. You have earned the right. Be warned, though, the folks upstairs won't be as reasonable. They have no concept of festivity in their heads. I think this is Star Sinclair everyone liked. Ellen Sinclair. <laughs> oh boy. Sinclair came back to us with an invigorated look. Things welling up inside me. This is what it was about. Makes me wonder why I thought it would be hard. How much more comfortable now? I was curious to know the inner struggle you expressed through that dance had touched the syndicate to their core. 
And what kind of hardship a young gentleman like him could have gone through? But those questions can wait for now. We head upstairs to the third floor. My gosh. Alright. What chaos is about to just go and appear on this floor? Okay. We have here. Currently have 322 modules. Jeez. If no one's have any idea what you just walked into. Not talking about it will make the most acrobatic poses known to man out of you. What is that even supposed to mean? The love of your digits joined by joint to make pretty mahjong tiles with them. Jeez, someone welcome that was. Ah, I'm not one to let introductions like that go unanswered. Oh, just stop. Alright, I'm assuming still nothing. Ah, Pierce. I see, I see. Now for buff boys. <laughs> Guy has a minus on heads. That sucks. Let's look at that. Come on, buddy. There we go. I hate the sound of that. It sounds... It doesn't sound like it's coming from my headphones. It's so weird. We had got weirded out by the DS directional sound. Yeah, every once in a while, some sound effects and stuff like that can just be like, oh, that's. 
That's a little more realistic than I expected. Oh boy, we're chugging. One example that I know is uh, the game Omori, an amazing game, by the way. Um, but there's a microwave in it, and when you use it, it's way too realistic. Like it triggered friggin' fight or flight response. <laughs> like, oh, my food's done. Let's see, if I go back. Yes, yeah, so we do have EXP Luxivation now. Impressive, yeah. Um, let's see, we can probably do one more. I'll do one more. Come on. There we go. Sorry for this one, huh? Up guys have some interesting uh, attacks. There we go. One more wave, right? Yes. What are we missing? For you, for you. Orange and a dark blue. Right, you got it. Loja, Kyojan Shiza. Ah, man. And there we go. Pretty sure this will be the end of it. Yep. There we go. Perfect. Nice and easy. Alrighty then.
Oh, we apparently got. 하루의 끝을 마침표 찍는 것만큼 이보다 oh, 가치 sure? 있는 건 없지. Okay. Okay. Um, well, I guess I have enough. Do we want to do one more set of pull? We'll call it. Let's do, it. Let's do one more set of pulls and then we'll call it. One stuff in the battle pass. Heck yeah. Well, we're our luck today. That's fine. 검을 다듬고 있다. 하루의 끝에 ah. 마침표 찍는 것만큼 okay. 이보다 가치 있는 건 없지. Now I got everything. Alrighty then. Now we have EXP stuff, so now I can start using that just for simple little battles. I won't bother with grinding on stream. Alrighty then, let's go ahead and hop on over. Now we can grind for the mini event. Indeed, indeed, indeed. That was fun today. Got to witness a little bit of the, get a, get a little bit of taste for, for a modding in Library of Runa, which was a ton of fun. That was really cool. Um, and we continued in Limbus Company. What a good day to play Project Moon games. Let's see, what's up next then on our little rotation? Up next is Arcanites. So, I guess we'll plan on Arcanites. I don't think there's any event that will be going on. I got Judgment Bird and Big Board in the Bottom Corporation. Oh boy. Eventually we'll start that up, and I'm terrified of when we do. Um, what is today? Okay, so there's still. Still a bit more until the event comes out. Uh, let's see, what time does that come out? If I... At 10 a.m. UTC minus seven, so... All right, let's do that. So, let's... Flip around some stuff a bit. Um, then that will be Friday for me. Uh, since the event will come out Friday morning in America, let's go ahead and wait until Friday to play Arc Knights so we can do the new event. And uh, we'll just do... Let's see, that'll be Terraria. We'll do Terraria for the next stream. How's that sound? Okay, fine. Sounds good. 
All right, sounds good. Sounds good, sounds good. How is Arknights? I mean, Arknights is still going strong, still going good. Um, Dorothy's event just wrapped up recently. Um, apparently on the Chinese servers, someone slipped up and accidentally leaked a couple of very, very big announcements. So everybody's freaking out about that. Um, even I haven't been able to avoid it. And I've barely even been online today. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> they, uh, ooh, <laughs> they, uh, done goofed, done goofed a bit there. Yeah, otherwise, uh, we have, like I said, a new event coming out on Friday for the Americas. I don't exactly know where you're situated. Um, 10 a.m. UTC minus 7 is when it should be released. And that's going to add good old Uncle Neural to the game. So. Oh, that's why we're shifting stuff around. So we'll do Terraria next time, and then we get to play a new event. Um, it's kind of a shame that uh, IS2 has kind of reached a bit of a lower point right now. Uh, there isn't much new content to do. I think it's because IS3 is about ready to come out. Um, I know it's still going to be a little while longer before that happens. But I don't think there's going to be any new content with it until IS3 comes out. So, no new monthly squad or whatever to catch up on with that. Uh, it'll just be dedicated to the event. Yeah. Well, I think that's what we'll plan on. Terraria and then Arknights. But I think for now, that's a pretty good place to wrap it up. Thank you all for coming out. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed your sorry day, feel free to leave a follow. It's a nice and easy way to just say, hey, I like what you're doing. Keep the good work. Um, it's also a nice and easy way to get notifications. See you on the flip side? Yeah, see you on the flip side. Thanks for coming out. Get to you next time too, Luxon. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's a nice way to get notifications. I set up notifications to both Twitch and Twitter for every stream right as I go live so you won't have to worry about missing a thing. And if you're interested in checking out some of my past content, feel free to check out my YouTube channel. It's where I upload all of my VODs and the occasional YouTube short or long-form video. I've made it a goal this year to upload at least one non-VOD video per month to the channel, which means at least one YouTube short or long-form video highlighting something on-stream or off-stream will be uploaded to the YouTube channel per month. I know we're nearing the end of that, and it's been a very chaotic month for me. I have something almost done, I swear. <laughs> so it should be coming out very soon. Um, so I guess if you're interested to uh, seeing what I create, holding me to my word, or like I said before, checking out some of my past content, please feel free to check out that channel. Regardless of my teaching series about there, it all means a lot to me, and I greatly appreciate it. And I hope you all have a wonderful day, night, morning, afternoon, evening, Whatever time happens to be wherever you are. And I hope to see you all again later. Thanks for coming and hanging out.